guys. All right, so I know that you guys haven't been able to come to church, and we really, I really miss getting to see all of your happy little faces. Um, miss getting to see you and coming and teaching you guys about Jesus. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do the video of the lesson so you guys can watch it with your parents, all right? So what we're gonna talk about today is how Moses connects with Jesus. So you know we've talked about Moses before and how God gave him how many commandments? Yes, God gave Moses 10 commandments. And so now we're going to see exactly how God's old promise to Moses connects to Jesus. It's really, really long and kind of complicated, but we'll get it. All right. So uh, where were we the last time that we met? Let's see. Where is the picture? You guys remember, do you remember these guys? Yeah? And their deal was that the king wanted them to eat a certain kind of food, but they said, no, we're going to eat healthy food and drink water because that's healthy. And the man in charge let them do it, and they came out so much healthier and so much better than all the other men, right? Okay. So while they were doing this, they were in, were they in their home country? No, they had been put in time out and they were in Babylon. That's a very big word, but you can try to say it if you want. Babylon. So while they were in Babylon, after all of this happened, a prophet start a prophet started talking to the people in Babylon. Now we've talked about prophets before. Prophets hear from God. And they tell the people what God said, right? Yes. So this prophet's name was Jeremiah. Well, this isn't Jeremiah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the prophet's name was Jeremiah. And he told the people that God had said that he will be making a new covenant with them. And that's a word that I don't think I've used with you guys before. And it means promise. So God made two promises, well, several promises, but two main promises with his people. One of them is the one we're going to talk about today, and that's while they were in Babylon. And God said, Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. And I will make a new promise with the house of Israel and Judah, not like the covenant I made with their fathers. But this is a, a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. God says he'll put his word in their hearts. So, the way that he did that took a little bit of time. Because he had to get them out of Babylon first. So, all right. Just lost my train of thought for a second. You guys know I do this all of the time. It's what Miss Emily does. But, so, uh, the prophet Jeremiah, he told the people, what we just read, that it would take 70 years for them to get back to their homeland. And that's a really, that's a really, really long time out. So you know when you guys get put in time out, we've talked about this. Your mom, do your mommies and daddies still love you if they put you in time out? Yes. And did God still love the Israelites after he put them in time out? Yes, he did. He was sad, but he still loved them very much. So he made them this new promise that we just read. And he told them that it's going to take a little bit, you have to wait, but I will put you back into your house where you're supposed to be. And what Jeremiah told them to do was they just had to, um, they had to live and they had to uh, be healthy, build houses, just through the 70 years, and they had to trust that God would protect them, right? Okay. So. The way that it connects to Jesus, because I told, I said that at the very beginning of this, of all of this. Okay. So the way it connects to Jesus is, we still have, we still have a promise with God, but do we have a promise where we have to do things and be, be super, super, super on the top of it all the time? Nope. God. We have a promise that says. That God loves us, and if we believe in His Son, we will go to heaven. And that is the new promise. 
and it is so much greater and so much better than the old promise. Okay? Alright, so, a couple of questions, because it wouldn't be one of my lessons without a couple of questions. Does God love you? Yes. Um, does God love you even when you disobey, when you do things you're not supposed to do? Does God still love you? Yes. Does God love you when your parents put you in time out? Yes. Um, let's see. Does God love you when the, the whole world is going crazy and you can't go to church and everything is scary and you've got grown-ups talking about scary things and you've got other friends talking about scary things and it seems like everything is out of control and going crazy? Does God still love you and does God still take care of you? Yes. And that is all. Um, parents, if you're looking for the verses I read, it was Jeremiah 31, and I read um, part of verse 31, 32, and part of verse 33.